Hi friends, Becky Edwards here, Purpose Driven Mentoring. Do you have a technique that you go to when you feel disappointed in yourself, when maybe, maybe you've had a day like I had today, where you just get really distracted in the morning and you look at the clock and it's like 12 noon and you're still in your pajamas. Have you ever had a day like that? <laughs> That's what happened today. And I know that it's tempting for me to just go in a downward spiral when I have days like that or when I have moments like that. And I, what I did is I used a little technique that I teach my clients. I'm gonna teach it to you today. It is a quick, easy technique and I use it often actually and it works really well. I call it the quick forgiveness tool and it has three little short steps. I'll walk you through it a little more slowly but to just use this is a really fast mentoring technique. The first step is I forgive myself. The next step is I love myself for. The last step is now I choose. So let me walk you through what this might have looked, what this could look like for what I went through today. So today, like I said, I, so, so let me give you a little more background. Monday mornings for me are usually really productive. I love, typically love Mondays. I know a lot of people hate Mondays. I love Mondays, especially if I got a chance over the weekend to plan my week and, and, you know, map out what I'm going to do when, and I get all excited about my goals and my plans. And I, that just didn't happen. And I woke and I often will wake up early on Mondays and get a really good workout and just hit the ground running. Well, none of that happened today. <laughs> I was behind on sleep. I stayed up late. I slept in. And then when I, when I woke up, instead of doing my normal morning things, um, I got on the computer and did some not normal Monday things and I got really distracted and ended up staying there till lunchtime. So instead of letting that spiral downward and feel like, oh, today's a terrible day and woe is me and you know all those things that are tempting to, to go there, I chose instead to use this tool and, and then turn stop the downward spiral and then start it spiraling upward. So here's what I could, could say on something like today. I forgive myself that I wasted the morning. That's how it felt like. I know I didn't truly waste it, but I got really distracted. I forgive myself that I wasted the morning and really mean it. Like I really let it go. I really forgive myself. Sometimes sometimes I kind of pretend to yank something out of my heart and throw it away. Like that, you know, a yucky feeling of regret or disappointment or like feeling inadequate or whatever that might be. So I just don't want to hang on to that anymore. I don't want to let it go. Or big deep breath, something like that. I, I really forgive myself. <sighs> Let it go. Step two, I love myself. Four, and this is what I have found. Almost, ev well, every time I've ever used this tool, <coughs> excuse me, I have found that there is good underneath. There's always good underneath somewhere. So if I, um, well, for example, this morning, the good is that I had written a blog post last night that I cared enough about this community that I was writing about that I actually reached out to several friends and asked them to give me feedback before I posted it this morning. And I had four different friends give me some feedback. So I, I was grateful and I interacted with them and I made some changes and, you know, edited and blah, blah, blah. And, and then instead of just getting off, you know, I got distracted, but that's okay. <clears throat> but what what I can use in step two is I love myself that I care so much about this cause and I care so much about these people and I love that about me. So huh, that feels better. So so not only am I stopping that downward spiral, I'm now starting to feel it going back upward. <sighs> that feels better. And then the last step, step three, and now I choose. And you can choose both actions and feelings. And, and it's interesting because our culture really teaches us that we are a total victim to our own feelings. Like, like all the love story movies, are they not like, oh, I just fell in love and oh, I just fell out of love. I just don't, I don't have anything to do with it. It has nothing to do with my own choice or my own actions. Uh, okay. Uh, really, truly, we have much more, uh, control or much more say or impact on our own emotions than we realize, which is really empowering. So I can say, now I choose, now that it's 12 o'clock noon, I am choosing to get up off this computer chair and jump in the shower and get going all my day. And, and I'm going to choose to have a good day starting from right now on. 
I'm going to choose a good day. I'm, I am not, I, ref, I will not let, you know, any feelings of regret or whatever, just hang on. That's not worth it. It's not helpful. It's so not worth it. So that is a little tool. I'm going to go through it one more time using one more quick example just to help you make sure you feel comfortable with it. So um, actually when this tool is first taught to me by inspiration, I did not come up with it. Um, the situation was I had just made somebody wait for me for a moment and I didn't realize I had, but the reason they that I made them wait is because the person I was just with was actually an old friend that I, I didn't know well, but I knew a little bit from a previous place that I lived. And so I was excited and ch chatted with her for a little bit. And then when I got to the next lady, I was like, oh, I, I'm so, so, oh, I just felt bad. I just felt bad and embarrassed and guilty that I made her wait. And, and the inspiration came, forgive yourself. Just let this go. Because I could feel it. You, maybe you can relate to me. I could feel that downward spiral starting to go down. Like, oh, I feel bad. Oh. And I was like, okay, oh, yeah. I'm a mentor. I know these things. I Yeah, good idea. So I was like, okay, I forgive myself that I made her wait. And that that seemed to stop the spiral. And then and then the next thought that popped in my mind was, and I love myself for. It's like, oh, yeah. Well, I love myself that I'm a friendly and warm person. That's the whole reason I was saying is because I'm friendly. Oh, that felt better. And then the spiral starts to move up. And then the last part, and now I choose. And I don't remember what I said at the moment, but I could say, and I choose to see the good in me and others. Or, and I choose to do my best to be on time. And I choose that if I ever do make somebody wait, then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna let it go and I'm gonna do my best or whatever it is. So so those are the three steps to this quick forgiveness mentoring technique. The I love myself for, excuse me, I forgive myself for, I love myself for, and now I choose. So I invite you to try that. Just anything that you're having, oh, it's not just for you, by the way. Anything that you're having, you know, a hard time letting go about you, for sure use it, but also other people. You don't have to go talk to them. You can just say it to yourself. It's just a little self-mentoring, self-coaching technique that, okay, I forgive my son for taking my such and such out of my desk. Anybody else have this issue in your house? <laughs> and I love my son that he's like super interested in cool projects. And now I choose that I'm just going to, I'm going to tell him where the, those, pro, those, you know, supplies are other place in the house and that he's welcome to get some. Ah, that felt better. So see how simple and fast that tool is. So I invite you to use it and love to hear how it goes. Come back here and, and post and let me know how you used it and how it went. So love you guys. Bye.